<clears throat> thank you, Madam Mayor. Um, good, good morning, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I want to thank Mayor Bowser for her support of this initiative. As the mayor briefly shared, the members of the Metropolitan Police Department are excited to partner with our community on another strategy that can be used to help keep us safer. This year, we've seen a significant increase in the number of stolen vehicles and carjackings in the district. We investigate each case between <clears throat> the hard work of our officers and detectives, along with the community cooperation and good evidence, we've been able to make some progress in holding people accountable. Our carjacking, motor vehicle thefts, and unlawful use of vehicles are up 36% this year over last year. Over the summer, our officers began to notice a trend in the number of people that had a tracking device like an Apple AirTag in their vehicle. Those tracking devices allowed us to safely track and recover stolen vehicles. Today, <clears throat> we're announcing the launch of our pilot initiative to distribute Apple AirTag and tile tracking tags at no cost to DC residents. During this pilot initiatives, residents of six police service areas, PSAs 106, 501, 502, 603, 605, and 606 were selected based on the current trends of carjackings and motor vehicle thefts. What do these devices allow us to do? Well, I'm glad you asked. While our goal is to prevent carjackings and motor vehicle thefts from occurring in the first place, that is not always possible. What we do know is that swift law enforcement action to identify and arrest those individuals involved in criminal activity is important for future deterrence and also allow us to hold people accountable. One way we can do this is with better information that leads to the arrest of these individuals. Air tags and tile tags tracking devices allow MPD officers and detectives the ability to quickly locate a stolen vehicle. While the individual who stole the car may not always be present, it will still help with the recovery of the stolen property and allow officers to potentially recover key pieces of evidence in these cases. Additionally, the information about the vehicle's whereabout can help our detectives. They can help us develop information that can lead to the identification and, ar and the arrest of those committing these crimes. What we know is individuals that are involved in this type of criminal activity often commit multiple offenses and a single arrest can help bring closure to multiple cases. MPD does not have direct access to the location of trackers. The tracking device can only be accessed by the owner of the device, and the residents will have to provide responding officers with a real-time location of the tracking device. So today, <clears throat> I am joining the mayor with key representatives of some of our most effective communities. Ms. Mary Cavett from the 5th District, where she has lived since 1996. Ms. Denise Woodfolk of the 5th District, where she has lived for the past 27 years, and Ms. Gladys Gray from the 6th District. She has lived in PSA 606 for over 30 years. These residents have already stepped up and enhanced their protection by obtaining a free tracking tile device from the Metropolitan Police Department. And we invite residents of the PSAs I previously mentioned to come out to one of our three clinics next week between 4.30 p.m. and 7.30 p.m. to get the device installed. MPD community outreach officers will help, office, will help the residents install one of these devices in their vehicles and also get it registered to their phone. All residents need to do is come out with an identification corresponding to one of the six PSAs mentioned and we will do the rest. If you are not sure what PSA you live in, please go to mpddc.gov and click Find My PSA. I want to again thank Mayor Bowser and our community for their work to help us improve safety for all. Thank you. Thank you, Chief.